Hey guys, Mr. B here again, bringing you another lovely math video on a Sunday night. Um, this video is on a seldomly taught way of factoring quadratics, or polynomials, or um, whatever you want to call them, uh, called Joe's Method. And Joe's Method basically accomplishes the exact same task as decomposition, and someone taught it to me along the way, and it's a great way, I think it's easier decomposition. Um... So let's give it a shot. So it starts it exactly the same way as decomposition. The first couple steps are the same, but then there's a you know a really uh, good shortcut to get to the final answer. So first thing, just like in decomposition, we take our whatever numbers in front of our x squared, so our two. Whoop! Didn't mean to undo that. There we go. So the number that's in front of our x squared, and multiply it by our last value, our c term. So the only time we're ever going to do Joe's method or decomposition really is when we have a number in front of the x squared. Um, we can easily use another method called the AM method uh, for that. Anyway, don't worry about that right now. Um, so um, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. So we're looking for a no two numbers that multiply to get us negative 4 and add to get us the middle term negative 3. So we're looking what two numbers do that. So multiply to get negative 4, add to get negative 3. So it looks like the numbers are negative 4 and 1. So negative 4 plus 1, negative 3, negative 4 times 1, negative 4. So you have to kind of do that process with decomposition, and then what you do in decomposition is break down this middle term. You group and you try to factor then you take out a common factor again, then you get your final answer. The beauty of Joe's method is all we need to do is take whatever's in front of our x squared here. So I'll, I'm going to do it, highlight it, whatever's in front of our x squared, so our, um, you know, our 2. And what we're going to do is simply divide both of these terms here by 2. And if we have any fractions that are reducible, like this negative 2 over 4 is, is actually just negative 2. We reduce it down, so our two numbers now are negative 2 and 1 half. So 1 half is not reducible, we'll just leave it as 1 half. So what we can do is now we can write this in our factored form. So what it's going to look like is um, x minus 2 and x plus 1 half. So just like we would normally, this is like we're almost to the final answer of what we would get with decomposition. And the only thing is, you notice this with decomposition, is we don't ever have fractions um, as x plus a fraction. It's always x plus a whole number or an integer or whatever, right? So we got to get rid of this somehow, reduce, get rid of this fraction. So it's actually really easy. All we need to do is multiply it by the denominator. So if we multiply this bracket by 2, I end up with 2x, and then 2 times 1 half is just 1, so plus 1. So really, all I actually do is take this 2, throw it up in front there like that, and that gets me my factored form. So this right here is my final answer. That is the factored form of that guy. So really, really easy way of factoring a quadratic um, or a complex, sometimes you hear it called a, a complex trinomial. Um, you know, something that has a number in front of the x squared term. So, it, you know, sometimes people have problems with Joe's method because, you know, you kind of just follow the procedure, but it gets us what we want. So that's why I kind of like it. If you're having trouble with decomposition and you're not sure where that's how to do that, then try Joe's method. I think it works. All right, let's try another one. So, same, same first step, 10 times negative 3. So, what well, multiplies to get us negative 30 and adds to get us 13. So, what two numbers do that? So, um, so my two numbers are um, positive 15 and negative 2. 15 times negative 2, negative 30. 15 plus negative 2, 13. So we're good to go. So then the next step, take the number that's in front of the um, x squared, so 10. Divide both by 10. There we go, just like that. So then what I want to do is, like I said before, all fractions have to be reduced. So let's reduce this guy. So this guy's going to become 5 over 3. And this guy's going to become negative 1 over 5. So then, in brackets, 
x plus 5 over 3 and x minus 1 over 5, just like that. And then we multiply each bracket by the denominator of the fraction. So I'm going to multiply this first bracket by 3, and that gets us by 3x plus 5, and then 5x minus 1. So there you go. That's the factored form of this guy. And if we want to check it, we can FOIL it out or distribute it out, whatever you like to do. Um, you know, really, really good uh, method of factoring that guy. Let's do one quick uh, question. The reason I picked this one is because one of the limitations of Joe's method is we need to make sure that we've taken out any possible common factors out of the original uh, trinomial. So if you look at this one, there's a common factor of 2. So what I'll do first is I'll take a 2 out, so I end up with 2, 2 x squared plus oh, minus, sorry, minus 11 x minus 6. So then, in my final answer, I'm going to have a 2 outside with my two binomials factored. But what I just need to do is focus on Joe's method with this guy. So, what multiplies to get us 2 times negative 6, so negative 12, and adds to get us um, 11, negative 11, sorry. So what's that going to be? Um, negative 12 and positive 1. So now divide those both by 2. So that becomes negative 6 and 1 half. So this ends up becoming, so when I write my factored form, it's going to be 2, x minus 6, x plus 1 half, or 2, x minus 6, 2x plus 1. So there you have it, Joe's method. Um, great method, seldomly taught in school, but like I said, if it works for you, you go ahead and use it. So uh, good luck, hopefully I'll see you in class. If not, enjoy.